hello welcome back n times n times n plus n equal to 10 how do we solve for n solution without further delay let's begin we have n times n times n plus n equal to 10 n times n times n that is n to the power of 3 plus n equals to 10. the first step we are going to take now is to transfer this guy to the left side so let's do that so it becomes n to the power of 3 plus n minus 10 equal to 0. Let's proceed further. n to the power of 3 plus n minus, we can write 10 as 8 plus 2 equal to 0. This implies that n to the power of 3 plus n minus times 8, that is negative 8, minus times plus 2, that is negative 2 equal to 0. So we have n to the power of 3 plus n minus we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 3 that is 2 times 2 times 2 minus 2 equal to 0 now let us combine the common terms this guy and this n to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 so we are left with plus n minus 2 equal to 0 it is possible for us to put these guys in brackets nothing has changed now let us recall the difference of two cube suppose we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a minus b times a to the power of 2 plus a b plus b to the power of 2 so we are going to apply this property to this guy by comparing this left hand side with this guy you will observe that our a is n and our b is 2. So let's substitute the value of a, which is n, and the value of b, which is 2, into this right hand side. So we're going to have n minus 2 times a is n, that will be n to the power of 2 plus a b, that is n times 2, which is 2n, plus b squared, that is 2 to the power of 2, which is just 4, plus this guy n minus 2 equal to 0 let's proceed further what do you notice here you will observe that we have n minus 2 here likewise we have n minus 2 here so we can pull it out doing that we're gonna have n minus 2 into this guy n to the power of 2 plus 2 n plus 4 plus what 1 equal to 0 because n minus 2 times this guy we give all this and n minus 2 times 1 we give back n minus 2 so let's proceed further n minus 2 times n to the power of 2 plus 2 n 4 plus 1 that is plus 5 equal to 0 this then implies that n minus 2 is equal to 0 or this guy n to the power of 2 plus 2 n plus 5 is equals to what is equals to zero clearly from this part our value of n is equals to two this is the first solution let us consider this quadratic equation now we can solve this guy using quadratic formula so our a here is one which is the coefficient of n square and our b is two which is the coefficient of n and our c which is the constant is five what does the quadratic formula says it says n equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b to the power of 2 minus 4ac all over 2a this is the quadratic formula that we are going to use to find the value of n since we have the value of a b and c so let us plug it into this right hand side so we're gonna have n equals to minus what is b b is 2 plus or minus square root of b is 2 that is 2 square minus 4 times what is a a is 1 times what is c c is 5 everything over 2 times 1 this is 5 sorry for that so let's proceed further so n equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 to the power of 2 is what that is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5, that is 20, all over 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 
n equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 that is negative 16 all over 2 so let's continue n equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 we can write it as square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 all over 2 n equals to minus 2 plus or minus what is square root of 16 square root of 16 is 4 square root of negative 1 from the complex number is i all over 2 from this numerator we can pull out 2 so we're gonna have 2 into negative 1 plus or minus 2i all over 2 clearly 2 cancels 2 so the value of n is equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2i which then turns to give n equals to minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i this is the second solution and this is the third solution that is it thanks for watching